Flesher, and once again I'm joined with head football coach Pat Three, and welcome to Inside Fraser Football. Um, first, before the game, football frenzy, what, what were your thoughts? Uh, you know, sometimes as a coach you don't like to change up your uh, routine, right. so um, that can sometimes be a little bit of a distraction, but you know, overall I thought we handled it pretty well. Uh, as far as the game goes, you guys dropped another tough one, 20 to 15. Um, how do you think your team rebuilds from this? Well, you know, a lot of times, um, much like life, you're going to have setbacks. And it's not the sex setbacks that um, you look at, it's how you handle those setbacks. And our guys are, uh, are good kids and they work hard. And, you know, first off, anyone that was there, it was an exciting game. It was a lot of fun. And, you know, that's one of the goals, to be in every game with a chance to win in the fourth quarter. And our guys are doing that right now. And uh, we just need to learn how to finish. And uh, when we have opportunities on offense, we have to score more. And uh, we have to play better defense in situations. Now, your defense held St. Clair to under 150 yards. How big was that for you guys? Um, it was great because they were averaging over 40 points a game. And they have a, a very good quarterback. He only had one completion in the game. And um, they had one play that they had about a 40-yard touchdown run out of that 124 yards. So we, we really played quite well defensively. Uh, we had a really bad break in the, the first drive of the second half, third down and eight. We stopped them. They fumbled the football. One of their linemen kicks the ball. It, it goes about 10 yards forward. And uh, in the pile, they come up with the football where we would have had it back. And then on the next play is that 40-yard run. So those are little things in a football game. Um, on that series where we had them stop but you know our effort was great the kids tried the whole time and you know I'm proud that they're my guys other than the defense who stood out really and is there anybody that surprised you well um, we were without um, Josh Resney who's uh, starts at quarterback for us and free safety and uh, junior Matt Mainhart uh, had an opportunity to step up and uh, play free safety and uh, he played outstanding he had uh, two interceptions and about four or five tackles and uh, you know when you get those opportunities you got to make the most of right. them and uh, you know I was really happy for Matt um, he had uh, he come out a little bit late so he had to wait a few weeks before we give him a chance to play uh, we're always gonna be fair with our guys you have to put in the time and uh, he's got a good attitude he works hard and uh, it's always great when you see a guy who's maybe not a starter step up and, and make plays let's talk about injuries uh, can you tell us about John Mueller and Austin Olivon um, John kind of hurt his hip uh, on one of his kicks and um, he was out and then uh, Austin had an ankle sprain so um, we'll see where those guys are at when we start this week. And what can you tell us about the status of Josh Resner? Um, he's kind of day to day right now. Day -to -day. Um, I don't think he'll play this week uh, against Centerline. He's still limping around quite a bit so you know it's opportunities for other people to step up and uh, hopefully they can do that. Did the game plan change at all, knowing that Resney was out? Um, maybe a little bit. A little bit. You know, just, uh, you know, we feel like uh, jo um, Josh does a really nice job with the option, and uh, he's got a lot of quickness, and that kind of is one of his strengths. So, yeah, you do have to kind of look at things, but we have plenty of opportunities, and uh, we just kind of fell short on those. We can't turn the ball over. We turned the ball over four times and uh, you're not going to win many football games like that. At the end of the game, it was kind of a scramble. It was a crazy final two minutes. Do you guys work on those kind of drives at practice? You know, uh, truthfully, not necessarily. not necessarily. I mean, we, we kind of just have a plan. Um, you have to know how many timeouts you have. We knew we had two timeouts. Um, you, you just have to get out of bounds. You know, we talk about those things. You get a first down, the clock stops. So you just want to be calm, and you got to have a clear head and clear mind, and it's the same game. You just got to get 10 yards at a time. And uh, once you get close, then you, you take your shot down. And uh, we definitely had our opportunity to, uh, to make some plays there. And uh, we just kind of fell short. Looking to head to Centerline, what can you tell us? Um, Centerline's kind of going through a rough time right now. Okay. Um, they had to forfeit a game because they had lack of numbers. They are um, a smaller school than us. And they're, they're really going through a lot right now. Talked to the coach this weekend. Uh, they only have around 20 guys, and um, you know he's having a rough go. So they're definitely a team that's struggling. It's a, one of our crossovers with our lower leagues. Um, you always have to cross up a division right. and down. So we are crossing down with the Mac Bronze. 
So they're struggling, and um, you know, even with that said, we're going to come out, we're going to play our best. We can't take anything for granted. You still have to play 48 minutes. But the goal is that um, we can have a quick start and that we can get a lot of people in this week. All right, well, that will do it for Fraser Football Weekly Wrap-Up. Join us next week as we recap the centerline game. Have a nice week. Are you getting ready for homecoming? You know, if you want to look your best, it's all about the hair. It's time to make yourself look your best, and to do that, you need to go to All About the Hair. They're just down the street from the high school at 14 in Garfield, in the plaza behind Fraser Lanes. All About the Hair is a friendly, family-owned, full-service salon that is part of the Fraser community. They're committed to your appearance and your comfort. Close by and the perfect place to stop in and get your due for homecoming they have feather extensions. Mention you saw them on the Flash online and get a special discount. Haircuts for both men and women, color, highlights, perms, styles, conditioners, nails, waxing, massage, body treatments, makeup, they do it all. Stop in and see their work. Open six days a week and Sundays by appointment. Walk-ins are welcome. Come see Sean and her crew at All About The Hair, online allaboutthehair.com.